tell me how networking has changed in the last 10 years. It's basically, networking came from the old way to network was about going to an, an event, whatever you want to do, and it, it was about shelling out as many business cards yeah. as you possibly can. And it was, a, sure, get to know as many people as you can, and it was very much a what's in it for me attitude. Yeah. Because really, giving someone a business card isn't a relationship, is it? Well, it's not, no. And networking now is more about formulating those relationships. And it really does depend on the depth of relationship, which is, that's how networking can work more effectively for you. Yeah, so you're the operations manager for Venus Network Group, I and am. that's that's just for women. It is, it's a networking community for women in business. Yeah, so why have a specific network just for women? Um, because we figured that there is, that's our unique point of difference and there are plenty of other options for men and women and Venus is different because it is about celebrating the feminine way of doing business mm. and that's about collaboration instead of competition and it's less about what's in it for me and more about how can I help you? What are you looking for in your business at the moment? Yeah. So what would your tips be for somebody going along to a networking event? Oh, absolutely get intentional. You know, so we so much of what we do is automatic and very rarely do people go along to an event and go, right, this is what I want to get from this effect, this event or this experience. Mm -hmm. And so I would definitely say, set your intention and think about your purpose. So what do I want to achieve in the next half an hour, an hour, three quarters of an hour, whatever you want to do? And set those goals so that they are achievable goals. Instead of I'm going to get my way around 50 people in this room, it's about I'm going to meet three new fantastic conf contacts that will form mutually beneficial relationships. Mm. Do you think communication skills are getting worse because of technology? I think it's a, it's about adap adapting yeah. and it's yeah I, I would like to I would like to say no but perhaps <laughs> that is that the fact is that people rely more heavily on technology to communicate yeah. and there's just too much that's missed. There's too much that you can't pick up with body language or you know the vocal aspect of your communication as well. Yeah, there's no substitute is there for seeing somebody face to face, looking into their eyes, you know, I guess we make different judgments when we see a person Absolutely, in the flesh. honesty, integrity, the trust value and that's when networking needs to be really powerful when you know someone and like them and trust them, it's much easier then to refer them because let's be honest, we talk, we talk about the experiences that we have in business and when someone's really helped you or you've had a great experience, you're going to talk about it. Yeah. And same when you've had a bit of a rubbish experience too, yeah. you're going to talk about that. And that is about the, the communication, but it's about being conscious of your communication as well yeah. and responsible for your communication. So let's say you go along to a networking event, you know, it's not something you're used to doing, maybe you feel a bit nervous, what would your advice be? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Draw a breath is the first thing, obviously. Definitely. <laughs> Breathing helps every time. Um, and, and basically, I know that sounds really silly, but it is, we've just talked about your intention and your purpose, but just calm yourself down by taking those solid breaths before you get in there because the fear, your body, when you're under duress and whatever stress it might be, and networking's just one example of that, mm. your body's in that fear response and it's doing the whole fight, flight, freeze, what do I do? And to make sure your networking's effective, you can't really flee the scene <laughs> and you can't really freeze at the scene. So let's just get involved and, and do it. And it's kind of like feel the fear and do it anyway. And just know that the more you do it, the more confident you will become and talk to people who are great at networking and find out what their keys are. Yeah, so how do you go up to a person? You know, it seems that every person in the room is talking to someone already. What, what should you do in that moment? It's what great networkers do, whether they're, whether they're conscious about it or not conscious, is that they strike up conversation to establish common ground. Yeah. And that's what we do, we're like, hey, Kath, where are you from? And it, it, it's the, and sure, the weather is one of those go-to icebreakers. Yeah. And if you need to talk about the weather first, that's great. But then make sure that you're prepared with some 
keys that you can move from weather into. So tell me, why do you love what you do, Kat? Brilliant. And I love the way you. Like I that. love the way you phrase that question because there's emotion in it. Why do you love what you do? Is completely different to. So what do you do? Hello, <laughs> I'm Carly, and yes, uh, you are. <laughs> yeah. And I've got nothing else to say. <laughs> and it kind of doesn't go anywhere from there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can talk to people in the queue for a cup of tea, can't you? <gasps> Networking happens everywhere, yeah. and it's it's having that being conscious and being mindful that you're interested in people, because you don't know who I know, I don't know who you know. But it'll be a matter of going, well, what are you looking for at the moment and how can I help you? Yeah. And that's what will be memorable. Because yes. when it comes to networking, people won't necessarily remember what you said, but they absolutely remember how you made them feel. Mm -hmm. So in summary, take a breath, set your intention and really be open to talking to anybody and seeing what you can do for them rather than what they can do for you. Absolutely. That And that will have a profound effect on your confidence when networking and also the effect of growing your own business. Fabulous. Thanks for all that advice, Carly. A great pleasure having you here today. Thank, Thank you. you.